this works as it should, you know, when you're talking with, with your students, you're going to let them make the discussion. But we, we have a little more time schedule, so we're just going to talk it out here. The water is going to transfer the heat away from the balloon. Um, therefore, it should be able to touch the surface of the balloon without actually breaking it. Now, the reason we're doing this experiment is because before people invented clay pottery, if they wanted stews, they had to cook in something that was flammable, which is a high pie. High, a piece of hide, like if I took a piece of deer hide and put it in the fire, it's going to burn just as, just like that, just like that balloon popped. But if they get the level of the water above the level of the flame, the water inside that hide pot would draw the heat away from the hide, and it wouldn't get lit, it wouldn't burn. So, which is, is awesome. Again, first person to figure that out. <laughs> a lot of trial and error. But they were able to cook um, in high pottery for a long time. And if you were going on a show trip and you don't want to take your big heavy pot. I'm sure there's people who are still utilizing that as a resource. Now, let's see. Touch a part that does not have water to the flame. I'm going to shoot you down the 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 stats I got are all in the teacher section. So when the kids ask, you know, how long should it last? You've got all my uh, all my data in there. You can actually start to see it where it's. Can you see it bubbling? Well, I don't know about bubbling, but on the side you can see where it's. Yeah, I never actually saw it bubble or boil, but you start to see the condensation dripping. Mm -hmm. Now, I never got one to last long enough to boil all the water out, because if you boil all the water into, uh, into the top of the balloon, it will absolutely break. Um, How did you come up with the amount of water to put in there? Just trial and error? Woo! 